Hadfield Station building is complete. What's next? Stay tuned and all will be revealed. Well, good morning everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. As I said, the building is pretty much done. But before I show you that building, it was easier to show you the section I've made for the interior, purely because it's done, easier to see. Um, is created this L-shaped section, and you can see there's posters on the wall. There's a representation of the leaflets there, and also the desk, if you like, and there's somebody standing there. They do look as if they're offering a pancake or a pizza, don't they? But never mind. Um, it's just a representation. But you can see there's a 3D print there. So there's one L shape going around the back. And there's these little knobbly bits here. So there's one bit there, one bit there. And then this piece here across the front is flat. So you can see it's creating a representation of the room. Now the the inside there is a print direct from Google Maps. Um, so I've gone inside the building in the 3D street mode and just taken a snapshot and then reduced it, uh, placed it inside and then put the person in front. Okay, and then that will be then glued into that. Okay, welcome back. So I've put in this part in here now. So just start you at one end of the building and should work along. So I've now put security cameras and these bits here, which are those, I think they're speakers for the announcements. Can't be totally sure, but um, it seems the most obvious thing. And painted that little bit there, orange, according to that. Okay. So, and also drain pipes have been added in there. I don't know whether you can make those out. I thought I'd try just printing a round cylinder, 0.4 in diameter, and just paint it and see how I get on. And it seemed to work, so I might use that one again. Now, the most obvious thing in this area is the chimney pots. Now, you can see from there there's four. But obviously, as I've said many times before, this is a tapered building. It's just like a, a large relief, if you like. So I've decided to go with two. And um, I think I'm quite pleased with the way they've come out. Now, many of you might be screaming at me and saying, they're far too big. Well, look at those. I mean, that's that's the thing. I mean, they aren't small, are they? They are quite big. And when you look at it, it's almost like they're probably nearly half the length of this. So it's not far off, I don't think. And uh, not forgetting that little chimney there, which I've put in. Hopefully you can make that out just there. And I'll work him away along. So the next obvious thing that I've put on is these um, girders, if you like. I'm not sure quite what to call those, but that's all again been 3D printed. And all the roofing structure all along has been added in there as well. So it's really quite pleased with the way that's all turning out. Now, this bit is, I think, I don't think it's completely accurate. I think this part is a little bit longer than what I've done, but I'm not going to worry about it. So it's, you've obviously got posters here. There's uh, some kind of fan just there. Again, more speakers. Uh, the Hadfield sign, that sort of thing. Again, I'm going to move down. Now, where it comes to the doorway, um, you can see here we've got quite a large way out sign. Now, I've put it on and it does stick out quite a long way. Now, I think mine is probably a little bit on the big side, but I'm really not that worried about it again. In the same way, I'm not worried about that being a bit over scale. And I think sometimes in N-Gage, it's probably not a bad idea to do things a little bit over scale because think sometimes it is really difficult to see them. And um, you've just got to make that decision, really, to be honest. Um, you can see now I've put the window in just there. And I'll show my best to show the interior. So you can see the entrance through the doorway just there now and uh, do my best to show you in there and all the doors are fitted both sides and, i mean you've seen a lot of that already haven't you 
but um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So if I'd look back there, no, you can't really see, but there is like um, a little barrier. You can make them out just there, uh, just a little bit going across sort of these little bits here. It's almost like it's um, an electric door type of thing. Okay, so I'm quite pleased with that. Now I'll just kind of show you um, it's on the platform because I've also painted the floor. There we go, I don't know whether you can make that out, but I've painted the floor, which is a slightly different color to the platform and there's some large mats there as well. So you can get the idea of where that's going now, can't you? Now I've temporarily removed a little ramp that sort of sits in this area here. And you can see I've now started to put that big stripe on. Now that's representing this big long strip of tarmac, which has been cut out and repaired. Um, it was probably when these signs were put in um, and the like. So obviously it's probably electricity running in, in there. It's an old station, obviously. So my next job then is to mask that up with masking tape. And I shall then paint that with a couple of different grey colours. Again, I'm not going to show the ins and outs of that, but um, I'll come back to you when I've done it. Right, there we go. You can see now I've done all the um, tarmac repair work and put in some drain covers and some further patches that have already been done. I've glued that bit down now because all this is now done into the building. That's not glued and uh, and probably won't be. But so uh, you can see the tarmac goes right up there. It does the repair to stop at that same part there. I did carry it on initially, but I'm um, realizing the fence comes up really close to that tarmac repair and then sort of juts back in again. Um, so I do want to try and get that on in this video and there's a mound to build there. So I want to try and get that done. Um, I might as well just put this piece on here now, which is another fence, which I've 3D printed. And yes, it does appear to be that black. So I'm just gonna put that straight on. There's another bit of white fence going in there and a ticket machine. So we'll see how we get on. I might put the, all of that on as well. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so well, the work's continued as you can see. So those fences have gone in now. Um, we've got more of a picket style fence here, the white one and the ticket machine and the two posts. You've seen a lot of this sort of repair tarmac stuff. That's been glued now. This is still not glued deliberately, but also this fence has gone in now. And you can see this is more of a sloping fence all the way along. But if I come out, you can see a basic profile for this um, slope. Now I probably will toughen that up with some thicker card and glue it down and then I shall probably have make a base which initially will be removable to follow this basic shape here and then I can put my triangles on all the way down and then glue that in against that and then I can start thinking about the um, former which will probably be um, masking tape at first then uh, papi mache over the top and then we'll be ready for some foliage um, just in case you wonder what's going on with this part um, I will remove this bit here by the way this little triangle but that comes to a vertical stop now for those of you who are in the know there's a bridge that runs over here now on the model my model that is um, there's already this whole section is on a bridge so to have another bridge up here would look a bit silly so what I'm going to do is create um, pillars as if the bridge was once there and it's been broken down so it'd be like there'll be a brick pillar here maybe a tiny little bit of the arch still left over to give the indication that it was once there maybe the same on the other side but obviously dilapidated enough so that the train would be safe enough to run through so that's my initial idea um it may change before when i become before i actually do it i mean but um, we'll see bit by bit by bit by bit okay i'll now start work on this bit and then hopefully show you at the end
So there it is. That's about as much as I'm going to do for this video. So just track you along. And the obvious thing and you'll probably notice in the background is I've now put this mound in. And you'll realise that's sopping wet with glue. And it does, it's not anywhere near finished yet. That's just the base layer. Um, it, there's some trees to go in there. Um, and also foliage, obviously this side, ballast and all. There's loads to do yet. Yeah. Okay, um, because it's sopping wet, that's why the backboard is there and not on the prongs because it would just stick and I don't want that to happen. But you can certainly get the idea of what's going on now. So I'll show you from the other direction. There you go. So I'm, I'm quite pleased with the way things are coming along now and holidays have started now for me i've decided i'm not going to do any more this side of the holidays and um, i can now focus on it so hopefully if i'm on it most days this week i should be able to hopefully and i'm saying this carefully get it done by next week or certainly the week after get a bit of leeway time in there just in case something else comes up but uh, there we go so one last look down the platform and I will bid you farewell. You may take care of yourself. And I'll see you again very soon here on Piccadilly. Bye for now.